Good morning subbies, how are you all doing? Today is Friday the 15th of February and I am off to Leeds with my grandma. Um, I was originally going to go with my mum but unfortunately she can't do it anymore. So I'm off with my grandma. We have a two hour booking at Kitty Cafe this morning. We have a booking from half past ten till half past twelve. Um, and my blooming spots are still there. And I'm really looking forward to that. Um, last night I went to see Brian, Professor Brian Cox and Robin Ince in Leeds Direct Arena, first Direct Arena, from um, like Saturday around 8 ish and finished around half 10, something like that. Um, but we set off at quite 20 past, 25 past 6 and got home and then set off to get to the first Direct Arena and then set off back home for just after 11 o'clock um, we got home around quite, I don't know, around after 11 no yeah it was just after 11 probably like quarter past 11 or quarter past 12 no, quarter past 11 or 20 past 11 I don't know, I can't remember what time, but when I came home I had to have a bath because I'm off to Leeds today and I didn't want to be going in greasy because it doesn't look nice being greasy I've not had one day recently of being greasy but um yeah, I came home, had a bath, and then basically went to bed because I was beyond shattered. Couldn't believe how tired I was last night. Um, <clears throat> my brain then gave me dreams of last night, but incorporated it into my life, which was weird. Um, there was loads of strobe lights. It was a really good night, and I'm quite pleased I went. And then today I'm off to Leeds shopping as it's payday. I've paid the board and I've paid my camera, I've just got more payment <coughs> and then this camera will be mine it's already mine but it'll be officially mine, I've will paid it off next month um, and then a little update on the nail the nail has got so much worse, it's got to the worst point it can get to um, in the bath or Friday night no, Thursday night, no Wednesday night is it? yeah Wednesday night basically what happened they actually, the top bit of the nail came, um, it's like peel, not peeling, but it kept catching, so I had to take it off. But unfortunately, I cannot show you now because I've got a bit of a, like a makeshift DIY bandage on it. But basically, it's left like a half, like a semicircle, and half like that, and um, and it's gone like dented, so it's gone up, then goes drops down. So the bit, this end bit here. Um, which is not going to focus on because it's focusing on me um, is wobbling like a tooth which is about to come out when I was in the bath it wobbled like that and now because it's got this on it's not wobbling at all but it's still pretty painful but I've only got this on um, this is I've been recommended to get it by a nurse um, this is like Marvis tape microfar tape I don't know, micropore tape, um, which basically is like tea bags. I tried the tea bag and never, ever, ever, ever doing that again. It hurt like heck because the nail fans went through the tea bag and it's gone to the nail bed, has this cut. So where the cut is, it's gone right to the nail bed, so it's all flesh underneath. Um, but this worked and it's keeping it pretty nice. It just looks really dodgy.
thankful to say for very high maintenance, especially with girl ones. <laughs> Crazy one, aren't you? You're a crazy one. So, back home from Leeds, I came back home, an hour maybe, no, what time is it? I'll see what time it is first. It's now 4.12 and we came home on the 2.33, I'll tell you the story later on. Um, just at the park, I didn't vlog much in Trinity in Leeds because we went to Kitty Cafe and I vlogged in there. And then when I came, I went to Primark and um, Poundland and Lush and lots of other places and Krispy Kreme. I'm basically at the park now. Um, I'm back home, obviously I've said. In my Jaquil's jumper, it's, it's nice but it's a bit breezy. It's a bit <laughs> and I'm also going to do a haul because it's payday and I actually got quite a bit. I spent 30 odd quid at Primark and I'm super chuffed to show you what I bought. Back home now. I am pooped. My spots do not look like that. They look like dints to me but they're not the spots. Yeah. Um, back home now. Um, I bought the biggest bag they have at Primark. And it is humongous, and I'm going to show you it now. I'm really, really happy with today. We spent, oh my gosh. There. We spent two hours at Kitty Cafe. We got the um, 9.50 top for 9.54 train into Leeds, and we went to Straight to Kitty Cafe for our reservation for two hours. Our reservation was half 10 till half 12. Um, we had two hours of playing with cats, which you'll just see in the vlog. I didn't vlog as much as I did. I have done before, but I did vlog a bit. Um, I took more pictures than actual vlogging, and I got some amazing pictures I'll show you as well. So we spent two hours with the cats, and then um, we also met Crinkle the cat, which, oh my gosh. Basically, he's a ball of fluff, and he's a British blue cat, and oh my gosh, I want to take him there and then. Then we went to Primark, I got a big fat bag and I got quite a few clothes. Really happy with the stuff I've got. And then we went to Oh no, we went to Poundland, then Lush, and then we went to Primark and then we went we, oh we also went to Krispy Kreme as well. Um got some really good stuff in Primark, really chuffed with what I've got today. Um Poundland as well and Krispy Kreme. And then we got the I'm trying to think what train we got home. Um, the 2.33 train, you will have seen me do that in the park when it's a 2.33. Basically, the train pulled in at 2, it was like 25 past 20 past 2. Um, this train was getting home before I can lose you up. 
luckily I was not the one that's pick mum picks up anyway, but I like to pick her up on Fridays. Fortunately that didn't happen today. This is why. The train was supposed to um set off at 2.33 and get to Geisley for around quarter. To. Unfortunately when we got on the train it came to 33 and I was like we've not set out we've not set off yet. Why is that? Um a couple of minutes passed and the train conductor got onto the train, shut the door, basically shut the doors and the train powered fully off. It went pitch black, the train stopped running, we was all on this train stuck with no electric. Um, well obviously we did have electric but the train wasn't running, it was powered off, fully off, air conditioning off, everything off. Then it left a couple of minutes, powered the train back up and it then it then said over the antenna, an antenna, antenna, the microphone thing, speakers, that um, sorry we are late, departing, um, we are having technical difficulties. The train pulled in fine, what's happened. So then we sat there for another 10 minutes, he kept closing doors and then opening again and saying it's still not working to the person which who was fixing the train and 10 to, we set off around 10 to, I think. It was around 10 to we set off. So we sat on the train for 20 minutes waiting for the train to set off and we sat on the train for 20 minutes and eventually at 10 to they'd fixed the problem and we set off. And the train, con the conductor wasn't happy but it was really weird. So yes, I sat in a fully powered off train. I must say it was really weird. It's the second time it's happened, it's happened to me because it happened in other college as well. But now I bought this was a quid but it is going to be better it is definitely better than me getting paper bags. Look how big. I can't even show you. It's basically it's got four handles. Two of them are for um, long length so you can put them over your shoulder. And obviously the two in the middle. These two are so that you can hold like an actual shopping bag. But this is the biggest bag that Primark do for a quid. And I can tell you now I'm super... Trust I bought that because then I also had this bag, my Jack Wills bag, which is from Poundland. No, that bag has got stuff in from Poundland, and I put it in there with the bag I got from Kitty Cafe, and it was so much easier to walk around loot that it just looked really weird because like I'm walking around like with the biggest bag I can get from Primark, but it's fabric, it's like canvas, and it's really good strength in it so I'm really chuffed with that um so yeah that will be a Primark haul coming up and then I come home had my rest of my panini which I got from Kitty Cafe and my um and my Bonoffi no Boston um my Boston mud cake which is basically chocolate cake with a very thick chocolate ganache and sprinkles um so I got that from Kitty Cafe as well I've had a really good get Okay. I've had a really good day today guys. See you later. Have a great time whenever you're doing. Have a great half term if you're still at school. Bye guys.